Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. How are you today? <sighs> I have to honestly say I've had a crap weekend. Absolute crap weekend. Wow, you seem like you're so far away. Hang on. Oh, it's a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I had some personal stuff that went on this weekend. And then... I went to my sister's place. I had to take her to her eye appointment on Friday because she went got cataract surgery. And everything was great. I drove there, drove her home, spent a few hours at her place, and then I went to leave that evening and my van died. Yeah. I thought it was the battery so my brother-in-law cleaned the battery and everything um, and it started but then it was coughing and sputtering and backfiring and and you put the gas down to the freaking floor and it was just like dun, 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 dun. and I was like what in the hell so <clears throat> George came out and got me and we found out that the garage that is right around the corner from my sister's place isn't open until today. So it sat there all weekend and uh, we finally got there this morning and took it in and we probably won't get it back till tomorrow. My sister's place is 45 minutes away. So yeah, it's been that kind of weekend. But I, the good, a good thing that came out of it was I actually got to have a Zoom chat with my bestie, Sandy at Left is Right Crochet, and she talked me off the ledge. <laughs> I was in a bad way this weekend, a bad way, um, and she just made my whole weekend. So thank you, sweetheart. I love you. Oh, man, I tell you. Um, I have a few things to talk to you about. Uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. I've got a few things. So I, there was a project that I wanted to do. I can't remember what project it was, but I needed a size 19 hook, 19 millimeter hook. And I was like, I thought I had one, but I couldn't find it and I was like ah oh, okay so I went to the hook nook and I ordered one and it took like three weeks to get here or whatever so here it is and then I promptly found my 19 millimeter hook that I knew I already had <laughs> yeah so I'm not sure I think I might put this in the my 2000 subscriber giveaway. I'm not sure. It all depends on who the winner is and if they need this hook. So speaking of hooks, uh, a couple of my Yarny friends had asked me about divot hooks. Now divot hooks are on Amazon and they are very similar to furls without the furls price. So I decided that I was going to order a couple and I was going to compare them to furls. So I did. I grabbed, I got a couple of hooks and this is how they are, how it's spelt. D-I-V-I-T. Now these run for about $12 on Amazon. And I will tell you right now, depending on which one you get, they're worth it. Okay, this is a divot hook. Now the way that you can tell the difference between a divot hook and a furls hook is... Oh, this banding right here at the bottom. 
Here is a furls hook. Okay. There is oops, the banding. All right. Now, if I didn't know better and I didn't know and they didn't have this on here, I would say that this was like was a furls hook. I would think it would be a furls hook. So here is, they're exactly the same height. The girth on this one is a slight, very slight bit smaller than a furls. Okay. The hook side or the hook on it is very, very similar. The furls is a smite bit bigger, but the actual incline on the hook and everything is very close. The, this incline or is a little bit longer on the furls hook than it is on the divot hook, if you can see that. But other than that, the weight is the same, which they're very, very light. Okay, this, this hook is a furl streamlined swirl, okay? So um, the pricing, these are about $22, these are 12. So they have a few of them. These come in different sizes. Uh, and then they have different styles as well. Now I bought this other divot hook. Oops, where is it? This is another, oops, I can I show this. Another divot hook. Okay. Now this one is different. It's, it's not like a streamlined furls at all. Um, I personally couldn't use this hook. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Sorry. George came home. Okay. Now the, the, the shaft on this hook is way too long for me. Way too long. I'm a pencil holder. Look how long that is. Like you are so far away from your, your work. Um, it's crazy. I would have to be down here. Okay. So that part of it, I did not like, it felt really awkward to me. Um, but if you like a hook that's longer, this would be great for you. All right. The, if you look at these two, I mean, that's the bottom. Look at the difference in the height. And then look at the difference in where you hold your hook. Right? Like it's, I didn't like this at all. But that's not to say that someone else won't like it. I know that there's, I don't know if it's Russia or Ukraine or there's somewhere in the world that I know they have really long crochet hooks. Um, and they would be used to these. But me, I can't use it. So I think I may give this away as well. I'll, I'll put it in a giveaway as well if you're interested in it. Okay. Uh, oh, that's another thing on these, on the divot hooks. I don't see where it says the number on the hook. Is that something else? I don't see, see a, a size or anything on these. Um, sorry, Bailey's outside. Yeah, 
I don't see anywhere on these hooks where it says the size of them. So, yeah. At least on the furls hooks, they have, have that on them. So you can tell what size they are, but you can't tell on these ones. But then again, I don't have my glasses on either, but I'm pretty sure there's nowhere on there that tells tells you. Did I just, I thought I had a cat underneath me. Okay, so that is the divot hooks. If you want to try a furls, but you can't afford to try one, uh, and you're not part of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook, I would suggest getting a divot hook. Because like I said, they're practically identical. I'm sorry, George is making noise out there. <laughs> that was another thing that happened this weekend. Our hot tub blew up <sighs> right where the filter is the um, we have a seal that holds it in so that when it's pressurized it stays in place and George was in the hot tub and the seal broke and it pff, exploded up into the air water was flying and oh it was apparently terrible so he just went out and got a he's getting it fixed okay so the next hook I want to show you, and I'm kind of excited about this, but I'm also a little freaked out about it. And I've been avoiding it like the plague. I got a Tunisian hook. And of course I had to get a furls, right? <laughs> so um, I got it. It was actually, um, I had a discount. So... That's one of the reasons why I got it from Furls. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is a gorgeous hook. Look at that. It reminds me of a um, coral snake, I think it is. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, look, you can see. There's where it tells you, I think it's a six millimeter that I got, which in Tunisian, I have no idea if that's big or not or what, but I got a bigger one because um, I just thought I better get a bigger hook if I'm going to be learning this, but it's just gorgeous. And this hook is called, uh, well, it's called a Tunisian hook, but there's the different hooks are called different things. And I can't remember what this one is called. Like that one, that one I think was a snake something, snakes, so I don't know, something. And then that's the one that I got. And then there's that one, you know, so. <clears throat> but it's so pretty. I have no idea how to use it. Sandy was trying to explain it to me. And I was just kind of like deer caught in the headlights, right? <laughs> um, this is, is a bit heavier, so you can really feel the weight on that side. I don't know if that makes a difference. I'm going to watch a few videos and um, figure out how to use this. And then I'll give you another update. But it's so pretty. <laughs> Everybody is on the Tunisian bandwagon. And... So I thought, all right, I'm going to do it. Because a lot of people are saying how much they're enjoying doing Tunisian. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you is, you know how I'm doing the Scorched Earth Challenge? Well, I actually have a space in my cabinet now. And I'm really happy about it because I had all of this, whoops, my hook's running away on me here. I had all of this uh, Red Heart Stellar, and I mean, I had a lot of it. Um, but I decided that I was going to make a sweater out of it. <laughs> but I thought, well, I'll make a sweater for myself. I wasn't watching what I was doing and I ended up making it too big. 
so <clears throat> but that's okay because it's going to use up all my yarn and I'm uh, like all of that yarn and I'm really happy about it so um yes so this is red heart stellar and it's lunar eclipse is the color you can't get this anymore I don't think well premiere it's not on the premiere site anymore or was it premiere or was it hobium or I mean uh um Hirschner's. I don't remember now. But anyway, can't get it. <clears throat> you might be able to get it in Walmart. I don't know. So I started doing this and now this it's it's a fair size. I have to measure this and find out exactly what the size of it is. But I I finished the the actual sweater. <clears throat> Um, but now I have to do the arms. I have to do the sleeves on it, but this is what it's looking like. So I just have the sleeves left to do, and it's got some weight to it. Like it's, it's a, a hefty sweater, but it's so comfy. Like it's really nice and comfy. I'm going to, I'm going to take a guess and say that this is between a 3x and a 5x I think um so yeah so that's I started I, I did that and I was using a eight millimeter hook I think so yeah so once I get the sleeves done uh then I'll show you the finished result but I think it's turning out really well it's really, it's really comfy. Ah, so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in my Etsy shop. Um, I don't know. Guys, let me know if you think if I, if I put my sweaters and stuff up for sale, if anybody would be interested in buying them, because I know that there's a lot of people that don't make wearables. Um, so, and I don't, I wouldn't put it through my Etsy shop because Etsy would charge stupid amounts of money. So, um, I think I would end up doing it like Billy does hers, just do it through email and PayPal. So, but let me know, let me know what you guys think. Okay. The next thing I want to talk to you about is, ah, I went to... Oops, dropping stuff here. <laughs> I went to the post office. Um, okay, if you guys have been following the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook, you know that the Australia and Netherlands hook is on its way back to me. And it's finished its journey. So uh, Wilma from Wimby's Crochet, she was supposed to be sending me the hook back. There's more than a crochet hook in here. <laughs> Unless she bubble wrapped the crap out of it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to open this. And I will be right back. Because I'm a little confused. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So that took me a little while to get into. Holy cow. <laughs> Um, I haven't looked inside yet, but holy cow, what have you done, woman? Okay, are you ready? No way. I just put it in the kitchen. Hang on. Wait. Oh, you gotta be kidding. No. Really? Oh, you guys. Oh, there's a card. You guys, look at this. Oh, I, oh. 
What? It's sheep sheath. I've never had this. Oh. Oh, you guys. Oh, okay. I'm going to read the card. Oh, I'm going to try so hard not to cry. Oh, that's the cutest. Look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. Um... I think it's okay to read this. Okay. Uh, hi, Sandy. God, you've got beautiful penmanship. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for everything. I loved it so much to participate. She's talking about the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. Uh, now, and got two favorite stitch markers. One from your sister and one from you. Aw, oh, thank you. Uh, I feel a very strong connection with you. I hope you are doing all right. I am now. <laughs> if you're ever going to send something around the world, I would love to participate. Sorry for my poor English in my video. Did not speak much of that for a few years. You are great. What are you talking about? Uh, now I am trying to practice it again. Hope that everything will be back to normal soon. Wish you all, all things good and positive. With all my love to you, George, and the family, Wilma. Thank you so much, Wilma. Oh, this just... Wow. I am just... Wow. It's, I... Mm-hmm. Oh, I swear this, I was, I was feeling like when the hook came back, I was going to be emotional because it had traveled so far, but you know, I knew that when, when it came to me, it was going to be really hard for me to keep my composure. Uh, but this on top of that, oh, Wow this that's that's crazy that's crazy wow you got me you got me look at this sheep she's color craft color crafter oh unbelievable it the color is almello uh, almello it's one three one six Look at how bright that is. Like, that's nuts, man. Um, where is it here? Holy cow. It's 300 meters. It's DK weight. It's anti-pilling, 100% a premium. A premium? 100% <laughs> premium acrylic. <laughs> There's three of these. Oh, you guys, I'm just, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I am so overwhelmed. So there's three of these. Um, oh, okay. There's, um, this color is Zandvoort. <laughs> Zandvoort. <laughs> It's like a beige color. Oh, this is so, and it's so, it's so creamy butter soft. It's, I've, I've wondered about this yarn and, but I can't get it here anyway, but oh, mm, it is so creamy soft. And the fact that it's a DK weight, I don't even care. Like, I can put two of these together if I need to, but holy cow, this is beautiful, beautiful yarn. If you have the chance to get it, mm, this is gorgeous. Oh, and there's more. <laughs> Mind blown. Mind blown. Holy smokes. You know, it's funny because I just went on a yarn ban <laughs> and I got yarn. 
Okay. This is called Julia. Yeah. Um, I knew as soon as I touched this one that it has wool in it, but it's called Julia and it's from Z Zeman. I've heard of Zeman. Um, it's 170 meters and there's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. And it is, it looks like it's a four to five weight, but I can't see where it says, where it says that. But I'm, unfortunately, I can't use it because it's wool. So that's okay though, because I will put it in a giveaway. Oh, Oh my goodness, look at this. Holy smokes. This is called Baby Tinsel. Um, I should have brought my glasses in. Oh, I'm going to, oh, this is going to be good for my niece. Oh, look at this. It's like a thread. Like, oh, it's. And it's got some weight to it. Holy smokes. But it's called Baby Tinsel. So my niece is going to love that. And then we've got Wonder Wool. And tag is on I can't touch it but oh the tag is in a different language Netherlands maybe <laughs> so but this is the the type it is so that will be going to my niece and then this is sheep she's Roma 100% acrylic. Look at that color. That is so pretty. Uh, the color is 1673. Um, 133 meters. Now. Oh, that's so pretty. And then there's another Sheep She's Roma. Look at that. Look at those two colors together. Ah! Oh, aren't those beautiful? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here's another Sheep She's Roma in blue. That's a beautiful blue. Oh, look at the. Oh, my niece is going to go nuts when she sees all this. This is a sheep she's Roma, but it's um, in a cake. Look at that color. Oh, that is so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Oh, this is, it's called Velvet. Allison and May. It's 100% polyester, 250 meters. Um, I'm going to, well, I mean, it's, it's like velvet yarn, right? So isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that will make a gorgeous Mr. Purr's lot. Just saying. Oh, I love that color. That is stunning. Stunning. You guys, you, oh, you got to see this. I'm, I'm going to say this is probably wool as well. Um, I can't see it. But it's sheep, she's, uh, Sylvie, 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 I think it is. 
Um, but look at, oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got like almost like a sheen on it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my niece is going to be so happy when she gets this. Oh, <laughs> you guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, so here is the bag that the hook came in. And if you look inside, there's no hook. Hook is not there. The, um, <laughs> the uh, notebook that I have that has everybody's um, stories about the hook is in there. But look at this. Peekaboo! Look, she made a bed for the hook. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Look, it's got the pillow and the blanket. And there it is. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, you guys. Oh, that just, it's, oh, unbelievable. That, oh, look. You guys, that's so cute. Oh, that was totally unexpected. That just, oh. <laughs> and there it is, you guys. She's back home. <laughs> In her little bed, she had a great travel. She, um... She was sleeping all the way here. <laughs> oh, that is so adorable. I'm totally keeping this and she's going to stay in here <laughs> until her next travel. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you so much, Wilma. Oh, wait, we have. This is the little bag that I sent all the um, stitch markers in. And it looks like one was sent back to me. Look, they're buttons. Isn't that cute? Oh, thank you. Oh, you guys, this is this has been an emotional, uh, a, a bit of an emotional journey here. I, the, the other hook from the U.S. is, uh, it's on, it's supposed to be on its way to Rosalie, but, um, I'm having a, a problem trying to, um, to find it right now. <laughs> so I'll let you know how it's going and, um, and when it, it gets on to its, on its way. Uh, I am going to totally enjoy reading this. Um, I think maybe in the next video I will um, I will uh, synopsize maybe <laughs> and what was put in this book. Okay. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Wilma. This was this was awesome I, it was totally unexpected um, but it was so well received uh, I'm gonna contact my niece I'll probably be going out there tomorrow we got to go pick up our van probably tomorrow so I will drop this yarn off to her and uh, yeah thank you that like thank you this was great Okay, uh, one last thing that I want to share with you is I made another 
Mr. Purse a lot. Yes, I did. I made it with velvet yarn. And the nose, I don't know if it's because of the velvet, but the nose is actually 3D. <laughs> so it actually turned out really cute. And the tail, I used the wrong hook, so the tail ended up being really thick. Um, but I think it gives it some personality, right? I really liked the way that turned out with this um, velvet yarn, but I hated working with it. Uh, if you've ever worked with velvet yarn, you know that if you try to do a magic circle or try to pull the yarn through itself, it doesn't like to, it sticks. It doesn't like to be rubbed on itself. So uh, that was a bit of a pain in the neck. But other than that, uh, it turned out great. I, I was really happy with it. So, yes, I did another one. Uh, the reason why I made another one is because I found out from my friend Helen that there is a brand new cat cafe in town here. So I thought, oh, okay. So I wonder if maybe, because she was looking for cat things to sell in her cat cafe. So I thought, well, I wonder if maybe she'll take some Mr. Perzalots. So I'm going to make a couple more and uh, see, maybe I'll make a couple of mice as well, like the poo mouse that I made. <laughs> and, uh, and see what she says. I'll keep you posted. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, I am on, the last time I looked, I was at 1,989 subscribers. I am this close to my 2,000 subscriber uh, milestone. Thank you so much to everybody. Uh, thank you to all of my new subscribers as well. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I hope that I don't bore you too much. <laughs> if there's anything that you guys are interested in seeing, let me know. Let me know. Uh, so once I do get my 2,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. And I believe I might be doing two giveaways for 2,000. So, uh, so yeah. So let's get me to 2,000 and let's do a giveaway. Yes! <laughs> Okay, guys, I love you all. Thanks for joining me. Come back soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.